Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Steve's Beer Review. Uh, tonight's kind of a fucked up night because number one, we have a beer to review, and number two, it's a little bit of a, like an update kind of thing. Um, this channel used to be known as Steve and Mike's Beer Review back when we were like 20, 20 years old. Um, something like that, whatever it was. Uh, the channel's been dead for a while, like I stated in the previous video. Uh, however, I'm back doing beer reviews. I finally have time to pursue this passion. I know I'm not I don't make money doing these fucking videos I know I only have like 18 subscribers, but I appreciate every single one of y'all um, This is just fun for me. I enjoy doing it a few people message me tell me I should be doing them again So I'm making a few people happy and that's all that matters, right? So uh, I put a challenge out to one of my friends. I'm like you got to find me a new channel name That would be creative and kind of funny and they threw out the, what's your uh Xbox, like I play Xbox once in a while, right? And uh, my gamer tags the Drunk Canuck. So they're like, you should call the Drunk Canuck Beer Review. So that's what we are now. So from uh, going forward, we're the Drunk Canuck Beer Review. And I'll probably review other shit too, not just beer, but that's the primary uh, focus of this channel. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, anyways, that's put aside. Today we're gonna be doing a beer, and I do apologize for the fucking camera shit again. Um, I had a beautiful tripod some, until some fucking cunt took it from me, so we're going to work on that. Don't worry. But this is what we're doing today. Trailer Park Boys Freedom 35. Uh, a little bit of a backstory to this. I actually was downtown Toronto. Uh, I think it was April 26, I want to say. Something like that. Maybe it was the 27th. Anyways, I was down there. I met the boys. Uh... They, that was like the, their launch day, so they were down there, except Julian, he fucked off somewhere, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, but I'm gonna include a little clip of that if you wanna watch it, it's maybe uh, two minutes long, so. Steps backwards, please. So we gotta get back. Get everybody in. Bubbles! Bubbles! Yeah. You fucking rock, bud! Hey! How you doing? How are you? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, know, I haven't fucking eaten today. Yeah. Me neither. Oh, the way she goes. The fucking oh, way she goes. You, know, hey, she goes. you want some greasy, eh? Greasy. I love you. Lobster. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these shit winds are brewing. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. We're gonna get caught in the eye of the shit again. Shit hogs. Shit hogs are swarming. Shit hogs are swarming. Ah! Yeah. 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 We're back! Yeah. We're alive! Yeah. enjoyed that as much as I did it was nice to meet uh, Bubbles and Ricky or Mike Smith and Rob Wells great actors great people uh, I don't know what happened to John Paul or Julian didn't show up um, yeah it was a good fucking time <laughs> we sat in the parking lot drinking for hours waiting for them because they were delayed too but yeah it was a good fucking time um, hope you enjoyed that so let's get to the beer finally I guess Freedom 35 Trailer Park Boys I already had 10 beers, so I apologize if my fucking words are slurring, but... Yep. From the heart of the park. Tra trailer Park Boys Lager. 5% alcohol. You guys don't know this fucking show? Stop watching my video and watch it now. This is the best Canadian show ever made, in my opinion. Um, it's not really offensive. It's more pushing the boundaries. Uh, they were on Showcase. I don't know if... 
people in Canada know what Showcase is. It's a TV network. They were on there from season one to seven. And uh, then Mike Clattenburg, the uh, creator of Trailer Park Boys, decided like, you know, I'm done with it. It was fun, whatever. Uh, they made a few movies out of it too. And then the boys themselves, like the, the actors, Mike Smith, Rob Wells, and John, or J.P. Trombley, like they call them, they bought the rights to Trailer Park Boys and they started making new episodes, which is on Netflix now. And they also have their own um, network called Swearnet, Swearnet.com. So, yeah, pure Canadiana. <clears throat> I don't know if I already read this, because I had to redo this fucking thing, because I wasn't recording the first fucking time. But, you know, let's try her out here. It's uh, from the heart of the park. The ingredients are water, barley malt, hops, wheat flakes, and yeast. And on the back here, it just says... Uh, Enjoy a crisp, refreshing beer with Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles. The decent, this decent. If you watch this, the show, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be like Bubbles, but he does it best. This decent lager pairs well with hockey, pepperoni, and good buddies. Don't let the liquor do the thinking. Unlike what Mr. Leahy would say. If you again, if you watch the show, you know what I'm referring to. Please enjoy responsibly. There's a best before date. I think it's this January. I fucking hope it does. Let's try it out. Let's see if I can fucking pour here. And again, I apologize. The fucking camera angles are all fucked up. I had a beautiful tripod and this fucking bitch took it for me. So, anyways, that's a fucking different topic there. Not a bore, not a bad pour, as I'm trying to say. Keep that in the frame. Um, kind of cloudy. I've been drinking this beer ever since it came out. Like, I usually buy a few. Uh, when I go to the liquor store, if I'm buying my sleep mints, that's my go-to macro beer usually. Um, yeah. It's kind of hard to see on fucking camera. It's not actually that see-through. It's kind of cloudy. A little bit of carbonation. Smell-wise, it's a bit... Um, you get a tiny bit of hops, but it's almost like a fruity kind of sensation, which is kind of different. Um, every time I've drank this, I've never put it in a, in, a, in a glass like this, so I've never realized it's fucking cloudy. But that could be a good sign, right? So let's try her out. Cheers. It's really good. Yeah. Pardon me. Um, I have to try to think again. Hold on. <clears throat> there was this like fucking taste that before I was gonna say something that I, I I couldn't figure out what it is. It's almost like a fruitiness, but you do get the hops. You get a little bit of sweetness and this like kind of fruity. I don't know if it's like I couldn't tell you what kind of fruit I'm, I'm tasting. It's just some kind of like citrusy kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's really smooth. I'm, I was surprised the fucking day when I was in the park and I was drinking this shit, waiting for them, how smooth it was. I, I was expecting like it's gonna be like fucking swish. Like again, if you watch the show, you know what, you know, when Julian was hard on the fucking swish. It's really a good fucking beer. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not just saying that because I love the show and I love the actors and everything's cool, but it's not actually not a bad beer. This is something that you could, and something that I did is buy a six or 12 pack and drink them all night, and you'll be all right. Except with me, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just because I'm so accustomed to Sleeman's, but I could drink like three of these, and I'd have a fucking nasty hangover the next day. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I, I usually don't have this kind of reaction with, with good beer. Oops. Um... When it comes to Labatt products, that's fucking horrible. If I drink Labatt Blue tonight, I'll be like fucking hungover as fuck tomorrow. So, but hopefully one of these won't fucking kill me tomorrow. Yeah, this beer is pretty good. <clears throat> and again, I'm not just fucking saying that because I like the show. It's actually a decent beer. It's a craft beer, and in regards to, like, me, I'm a 
more of a macro kind of guy. I don't like fucking Bud or Labatt or Canadian that much, but Sleeman is like my macro uh, go-to beer. And this beer is almost like a crosshair between um, tasting like a macro and being too hoppy and flavorful for people that don't like that kind, right? So even people that love Budweiser, Canadian, whatever, I think they would enjoy this. So I would suggest you go try it. It's actually on sale now at the beer store. It's 260, it's regular 275. Oh uh, yeah. I loved it so much that when I was downtown uh, meeting the guys, I bought a 20 for this and I drank it over a weekend, obviously, and not one, one fucking night or else. I don't know if I'd be alive. I'm not that fucking tough with uh, the beer. But yeah, it's good beer. I suggest you go try it. I'm going to give it on my scale. I'm going to give it a seven. Uh, I'll give it an eight, actually. If, uh, if it was a little bit less, um, I don't know if it's even sweeter. It's just like hoppy. I don't know what the fuck I'm like getting this aftertaste. If that aftertaste wasn't there, and there's probably other people that had this beer, like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I get this like weird bitter aftertaste. If that wasn't there, I'd give it like a nine. But I'm gonna go with Solid Eat. I love the show. The beer's great. Not really much to bitch about, so yeah. That's how it is, people. Go out and try Freedom 35, and welcome to the. Oh, fuck. I thought I wasn't recording there for a second. Anyways. And uh, yeah, welcome to the Drunk Canuck beer review from now on. So, I also have another Trailer Park Boys beer to review before I get too fucked up. So we're gonna get on that now. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you wanna see more, click that subscribe button and you know, we'll be back once or twice a week to uh, do some more of those fucking beer reviews there. So anyways, have a good night, cheers.